Welcome back to the Luxury Home Show. Today, you're joining Jazz Hi. and myself in the heart of the English Riviera in Torquay, a yacht haven home to some of England's most incredible coastline. And we're gonna be taking you inside this Gothic Victorian church conversion behind me, listed for 3.7 million pounds with John Couch. We'll stick a map up on the screen so you can see exactly where we are in the UK. Built from locally quarried stone, the original church still stands, but the roof has been recently renovated, adding some extensive heat and sound insulation as well, covered in Welsh slate, and it really looks the part. The property has got five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and 10,000 square feet inside. So it's got that grand wow factor, and we're looking forward to heading inside. So I think we should start at the gate. Let's go. Let's go. Starting off then, we have electronic gates leading us off the road onto our own private tarmac driveway. Plenty of space here for vehicles, for a large family or guests as well. We've got a feature stone wall here with the slate all inside there, an angel here out the front, and even this grand water fountain as well. But yeah, I think we should head straight in and kick this tour off, Jazz. Starting off in the entrance hall, that phrase has never been more relevant because we are literally in a hall at the moment. Check out these archways above me, one of those gothic motifs that you're going to see a lot as we work our way through this property. There's lancet windows behind Jazz with the stained glass as well, and we've also got a bench seat down the bottom, but I think we should head straight on through to the main area. But first, Jazz has just reminded me, I'm going to stick a floor plan up so you guys can work your way through the property with us. Okay. Come on in. So one of my first impressions as I came in here was the flooring. It's a very high gloss. You can see that as we go through, but look how this just opens up for you guys. Whoa. <laughs> my first impression was whoa as well, Jazz. Leave down in your comments, guys, what your first impression was of this view. Absolutely incredible. Like I said, with the high gloss flooring, we've got this centerpiece in the very middle here with the mosaic pattern all the way around. I like how some of them are gloss and some of them aren't. So yeah. you get like a nice shimmer from the lighting. Yeah. Looks awesome. We've got the Gothic arches as well, like I just said at the start. Some incredible stone masonry. And you can hear my voice echoing. Yes. You know, it's 10,000 square feet inside this property. So it's no surprise where some of that goes because the ceiling heights <laughs> are insane. Anyway, we're going to break down this bottom floor because there's a lot to get through. So we'll start off here. Got a nice little music area where you can sit on your piano, which sounds great with the... Um, echo of the room hey. <laughs> and also this reminds me of the remote check this out Whoa. <laughs> so if you want it to be party time you get your remote out <laughs> let me go all the way back. how cool is this anyway back to white <laughs> <laughs> so straight across we have a dining area fit for kings you've got 12 seats here you can imagine yourself at the head of the table it's like something from Game of Thrones. It is. It's even got like the candles in the chandelier. Yeah, elegant panelling all the way around the room as well. We've even got the old organ there that you can see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're going to come through into the kitchen. Now, this has got a real contemporary convenience in contrast to the rest of the property. We've got a two-tone kitchen in here, fit with some very high-spec appliances, Neff appliances all the way throughout here. The extractor fan even floats up from the feature yeah. island, which I think always looks stunning. We've got the breakfast bar seats at that end as well, so a great place to chill with the chef and maybe enjoy your breakfast. Mm -hmm. It's really well lit as well, Jazz, isn't it? There's so many spotlights, it's so good. Yeah, and a two-tone style with the matte black and the whites as well, in contrast to that flooring. Yeah. We've even got this structural beam here as well, which is necessary, but also adds a bit of character to the kitchen. Yeah, it does. We've also got an access point through here, as you can see through this archway. It's like a boot room set up where you can enter the property and also go up the church spire from a spiral staircase. Oh yeah. Shall we head through into this area? Let's go. Yeah. I'll follow you. So through this door we have access to the bar, but we're gonna head through and show you this. So the property has had many uses over the years, one of which being a breakaway snooker and pool club. So what better place <laughs> than to have yourself a little snooker set up. This used to be the altar as well. So. Yeah, it's Crazy. It's quite cool to sort of understand the bearings of what used to be in this property in different areas. And we've got a bar set up here, all this real attention to detail from this. These features up here, stunning with the wood theme, the wood panelling as well, all the way around this bar. Fit for some great pubs. Yeah. It's pretty and stunning. 
the features have been so like well preserved. Yes. The owners, you know, they did this renovation themselves and they kept in a lot of like, you know, the yeah. ruins. It's not completely been fixed. So you can see the old character and how yeah. old the property is, which makes it even more impressive. Okay, should we check out the principal suite? Yeah. Let's okay, go so in. we're gonna come through another archway, guys. We've got a vaulted ceiling in here, so it feels incredibly grand again. I feel like I'm a prince or something in here. Yeah. It's very regal. Definitely. Even this majestic bed with the headboard and bed frame. And then we've got another two archways here. We've got options, Ooh. like Jack Harlow. <laughs> <laughs> this way you can go out towards the back garden and there's also a dressing room through there, but we're gonna head in here and check out the ensuite. So we have a step down with the porcelain oaster tiles all the way around this bathroom. A real contemporary bathroom setup, Definitely. a real contemporary style but we've also got some old features, even these mirrors here, kind of just adding that contrast with the old and the new. Although we've got this standalone bath, it's in that roll top style, which makes it seem slightly old school. And we've got a great shower here as well. So now we're gonna head into the main area, and check out the rest of the bedrooms. Jazz is gonna show you around. So guys, we're stepping back down from that pool area. Quickly while I'm here, Take a look at this, Tom. Oh, wow. It's like a feature casing in the wall. I say casing, got no glass. Yeah, I thought there was glass there. The biggest Bible I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that is a massive Bible. Yeah, keeping in with those church traditions. We've got a toilet down here. Well, it's actually a whole bathroom. It's got a bath in there as well and the shower. Yeah, very well equipped for like kind of a guest of UC. And then in here, we have a study room with the William Morris style in there. You've also got access back out to the garden and it's just a really cozy room. Yeah, there's even a little glass stained window that connects that room and this main space. You yes. can see it just there. There it is. And we're just gonna walk you through here again because it's so breathtaking. Can you imagine this being your home? It feels so homely in here and it it's, it's weird to describe because it is massive, but it's so warm and so and cozy. cozy. Yeah. When we came in, we had this nice little seating area. I can imagine your guests coming in, sitting here. Slightly more formal. Yeah, exactly. And then we've got this library set up. I'm loving these sculptures. Yeah, the statues. <laughs> yeah. Looking cool, don't they? I like the artwork on the wall there as well. Absolutely Very incredible. powerful, right? Yeah. Come on into this bedroom, guys. So, massive ceiling heights through here. We've got the stained glass window there, more lancet windows here. We've got storage next to Tom and also an access point to the front of the property behind so you can come through here without having to go through the rest of the house. If we come through here, we've got this dressing area. I like the splashes of green and then it leads us into this very contemporary ensuite. Once again, we've got these huge ceiling heights. We've got the frosted glass on the windows and we've got one of my favorite mirrors. <laughs> yeah, you like them, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, very well-equipped bathroom in here. We've got the archway that goes all the way through. You can really get a feel for how grand this yeah. property is when you see them kind of coming through into rooms like this. The exposed beams as well through yeah. there, painted black. It's very characterful. It does, doesn't it? But if we head on out, we love the carpet in here. It's yeah. so soft. Yeah, it makes it feel a lot more cosy when you go into the bedroom. Yeah. We're going to head across into the other bedroom down here. So another great sized bedroom in here. We've got the TV on the wall. Tom, I really want you to just pan up. What, so we can see the and scale of it? take a look. You've got the Velux windows up here. You can even wow. see the spire. Yeah, so like that Velux window. Right here, you can see all the way to the top. And then we've got the Lancet windows again, bringing in loads of natural light. I'm now gonna take you up onto the mezzanines level and show you the rest of the bedrooms. Let's go. first mezzanine level we've got the carpet running throughout and we've got such a snug lounge space up here we've got these really comfy couches and then we've got the balcony which overlooks the snooker area and the original altar we've got these stained glass windows here with the frosted glass too so a lot of privacy for your lounge area which is nice and yeah we've got this really detailed painted wooden ceiling above us and it just looks incredible. Looks biblical. Yeah, the details <laughs> in this house are unbelievable. And the thing I love about these mezzanine levels is that you're so close to the ceiling. Yeah, you're so, raised up. Yeah, the features you wouldn't have been able to see when this was just a church. Yeah, you're now right next now. to, at head level, yeah. Exactly. 
beautifully and Good you point. see all the arches, they look incredible, but Tom, just have a look. Just, just. Yeah, let's just check out that way. What? That is incredible. Insane, right? Yeah. Right. What a view. Should we head into the bedroom? Let's do it. Through this archway. Yeah, another massive archway. Got the Christmas spirit. Love that. But yeah, we've got a very generous sized bedroom in here. We've got the archways around and just those details that look incredible. Big double bed in the middle, carpet once again, staircase being used as shelves, which is a really funky feature, I think. Yeah, it's a cool idea. Yeah. Now, because this property is protected, you can't do much to temper with the original structure. So we've got these kind of add-ons. So in here, we've got the wardrobe and through here an ensuite. Take yes. a look inside. Shut us in. Once again, a very modern ensuite. It is boiling in here. Yeah, nice and warm. <laughs> so warm. We've got the underfloor heating throughout the whole property. And we've got some really nice marble tiles in here. I love the grey. But should we come back on out, Tom? Yeah, We're going to head straight across into the other bedroom. Yeah, I think we just had a little dog then. <laughs> <laughs> this is almost like a mirror image of that other room, right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. This one's not got as much in it, so you can kind of get a better perspective on the size. Like I said in the other bedroom, it is protected. So we have these banisters that are built in so that, you know, the original windows aren't tampered with at all. And it kind of creates a light well in the room, which is really good. We've got the dressing room for here, through here, and then another ensuite in here. Once again, with my favorite mirror. Yes, and those porcelain nose tiles again. Again with the bath. Yeah. We are now going to cross over and meet you on the other side. Take a look at the view from this perspective. It looks incredible still. Yeah. <laughs> we've got a nice kind of office set up here. So we've got the desk, nice seating area, but Tom, we've just got a look at this in some more detail. Yeah, that's a hell of a window. <laughs> Let me sort of go up the Absolutely stairs. Absolutely huge. And the detail is so amazing. There's actually a picture upstairs and this window had been smashed. So the owners have done an incredible job at bringing it to its former life. And it's yeah. just incredible. Yeah, I don't, I still don't understand how they're able to reconstruct these and make it look so seamless, but Enjoy. you look tiny down there, Jazz. It's absolutely massive. Do you want to head up here and meet us up? Yep, I'm coming. Okay, so we're up here now. We're going to head into the spire. But first, just take a look at the, the roof. Yeah, the like ceiling. The ceiling, sorry. How yeah. incredible does it look from here, being able to look all the way down and you can see so much detail in the stained glass too. We spoke to the owner as well. We said it was his first time actually with a curved ceiling. Yeah, and so for someone who's never done that before, it looks pretty perfect to me. Yeah. But I'm going to head through here. This is like exploring, isn't it? I yeah. thought this is where it really feels like an old church, yeah. castle type. So we've got all the kind of exposed bricks on the wall. Really nice window through there. It's really yeah. like a feature wall. On this side, we actually have a spiral staircase that Tom said before. Oh gosh, we made the mistake of going down it earlier on and uh, just coming to a door and yes, then outside. Yes, that was locked. Yes. So we had to come all the way back up. Yeah. We were exploring, it was fun though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But just for reference right now, we are in the steeple. Yes. So we're gonna be heading up this staircase that goes all the way around. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll sort of stop off at each of the rooms on the way up. Let's go. Let's go. So halfway up the steeple, we've got this kind of, I'd call it a pit stop because you get out of breath coming up here, so you yeah. stop halfway. Yeah, chance for a game of chess on the way yeah, up. Exactly, it's kind of like a little games room. But what's really interesting is we have photos on the walls of the kind of restoration of the property. So after it burned down in the fire in 2019, you can see all the damage that was done. Yeah, the state of the roof. Yeah, exactly, it's absolutely incredible. And like seeing them put up the mezzanine levels here. Yeah, it's come a long way, right? It has. but. Let's keep on heading up. Now we are at the top of the steeple and we have got some incredible views. If we look out, we can see Torquay Harbour and just the views of the town centre. You can see across the bay too. And yeah, just... Yeah, very elevated position here. We've yeah. even got that telescope there. You can tell it's a great view spot. Yeah, you could maybe look at some ships or some stars at night. Exactly. It's a great spot for it. But if not, you could just chill out and sit in these massage chairs and look yeah, at the view. they vibrate. <laughs> It's really good and we've got more photos of the progress too. Yeah, that's the one you mentioned about the this glass. This is the I one think. I mentioned, yeah. So look, this is what the glass would have been like and they managed to restore it. And you've actually got a photo of 
lady in front of it. Yeah. But yeah, we hope you guys have enjoyed this tour. It's been quite a different one. Me and Tom have absolutely loved taking you through here. It's and so just exploring, unique. right? And exploring, exactly, because we just love having these fun tours. But area-wise, Torquay is such an amazing place. It's a proper seaside town, buzzing with life. We've got clubs, pubs, restaurants, everything you need. We've also got a view from here of the kind of Victorian pier, which is amazing. We also have a sea life centre, I'm sure. With yes, we do, we do. Paynton just across the bay as well, as well as Brixham, which is yeah. a local fish town known for its fish and chips. And we might have to go and get some afterwards. I think we will, yeah. there's no doubt about it. What else can you have when you're by the sea? But make sure to comment your favourite part down below. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.